Ooh, shiite. What is good with y'all boys, man? Welcome back for another video. It's your boy Dono. I need to stop saying that shit, but I need to figure out the intro, bro. Y'all let me know in the comments what I should make my my uh my intro. I feel like every YouTuber on on the internet says your boy, whatever their name is. So help me <laughs> help me figure out the intro, y'all. I'm fucking I don't know. Right now, I am on the way to get some clothes. Well, we're about to do some shopping. And maybe it might grab a pair of shoes or two, but we're about to do some shopping because for those who don't know, my birthday is in about a week. Um, and I'm going to Vegas. So stay tuned for those vlogs and for those videos because I'm about to try to pump out a bunch. What the fuck are y'all looking at, nigga? Damn. We're at the mall. We're at the mall. This guy here. It's fucking hot. I kind of I want to jump in this shit right now. I'm about to not slay. <laughs> bro, what if I full, fully dove in that bitch, bro? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like fully dove. Where should we go? I'm thinking. See a boba. Bro, you worried about boba, nigga? We just got here, bro. I feel like, hey, hey, what y'all, nah, come on, fuck it. We just gonna go. We'll get this shit out the way. But what y'all think, bro? I think me personally, when you come to the mall, I mean, I guess you can get shit when you first get here, but I feel like you gotta be here for like a little bit, work up the hungriness, and then, uh, you feel me, come grab some snacks and shit afterwards. This, this girl right here wanna walk into this bitch and be like, all right, let's go get some shit. I mean, it makes sense though. Maybe you could walk around with the shit, but. Hey y'all, uh, I need to move or like find a new mall because you know you know a mall is doing ass when they gotta add shit like this. Like bro, what even is a claw bro? It's literally a store full of claw machines. And you you know they ain't giving you shit, bro. Like you know you ain't winning nothing. You going in there, wasting your money. You're not even winning nothing, bro. Like at least if they got that many claw machines, bro, I better get one thing out of. I better be. I be able to get. Damn, I better be able to get at least one thing out of that motherfucker, bro. Because I'll show you. On Actually, I'm about to walk over there real quick. Cause like, look at this shit, yeah. This shit's kind of like. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. Literally, hold on. Like, look at this shit, yeah. All these fucking claw machines, bro. Do y'all really think y'all winning some shit out of here? Like, there's more over here. Like, look. Look at this shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Chuck E. Cheese, nigga? <laughs> fuck. Like I said, bro, you finna get this claw machine. That shit gonna be rigged like every other claw machine, bro. All right, y'all. We got some boba. Y'all missed it. I should have recorded it, but security tried to come in here and be like, you can't record in the mall. That's gonna stop me. We ain't in the probably gonna go to H&M right now. Try to look for some shit. Cause I got a gift card there. So I'll be able to get a lot of shit for free. Well, not for free, but with a gift card. So we're gonna see what they got. All right, y'all. So we in H&M right now. And unfortunately, ooh, this kind of clean looking. Oh, we saw this at the other one, though. But. It wasn't like, it was similar. I don't know, bro. They always got really like calm shit and like, they like, I usually get my shorts from here, like as far as like, like the regular little sweat shorts and shit like that. But I already got a few pairs of those. And like I said, it's my birthday. I'm trying to get drippy, bro. Not on some, I mean, not on no regular shit. And it just got to be fleeced. All right, y'all. So there was no like an H&M, at least right now. But we ended up coming into Foot Locker real quick. Looking for a couple pairs of shoes. I'm kind of want to go New Balance, but like something of that nature. It's crazy how like New Balances and Asics and shit used to be the shoes that your teacher wore and now everybody want them. <laughs> I see why they say it's extra large, bro. Do I look real? Let me get my stance. Do I look real? Nah, I mean, it fit like going down, but the arms is like big as fuck. I feel like I look little, so. Yeah, it was a cool concept, cool shirt, shit like that. But. We fail again, y'all. Shit crazy. Shaking my head, y'all. The problems I have for being too flea, bruh. 
literally cannot find nothing in any of these stores, bro. These shoes is ass. Niggas might just have to order some shit online. <clears throat> order some shit online and pay for it to get here. Uh, like, with fast shipping, next day, couple day, three day, whatever the fuck. But, yeah, I might just have to do that because... I haven't, I haven't been able to find no type of look or have no type of look with this shit. Shit's starting to blow me. I don't know. I honestly don't even know why I keep coming to this mall knowing damn well they don't got shit, but it is what it is. Hi, Chad. So we came to this air store. They got, this is the only store that's in here that actually has like fire shit. They got Hellstar, um, Spider, etc. They got all these, a whole wall of J's dunks etc um they just be a little bit pricey in here it's a resale store so but yeah, i'm trying to get i'm possibly about to get these right now um what y'all think about it <laughs> these these just look tough to me I, I look 11 it was between those and these ones right here these blue joints but i'm low-key i'm low-key fucking with these yeah these shits is hella tough uh-oh y'all see what's in the back let me make sure that nigga who told me to get out the wall right here. Nah, I swear, I had to get on the nigga. Yeah, man. Air, uh, this, like I said, bro, this is like probably the only good store in this mall. I ain't finna owe y'all, bro. But, um, we finna get up out of here. What was we're about to do is we're about to go to Target. Um, we're about to go to Target. 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 We're about to go to Wiener Stencil has fucking mac and cheese. And I asked my Instagram to send me some questions. They didn't send me too many. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use those um, to try that and answer some questions for y'all. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, y'all. Um, all my socials are down in the description below. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to this Wiener Stencil. Hi, um, can I just get an order of the, um, the mac and cheese? I'm sorry? Can I just get an order of the classic mac? Okay. Um, and that's gonna be it. Alright, so that's what I know. Alright, thank you. If this shit nasty, we gonna go somewhere else to go get some food. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, gonna get food yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna try it for y'all and shit like that. But you feel me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah. In the comments below, what y'all think is gonna taste like? Okay, like, give me like a like a one out of ten scale. What y'all think is gonna taste like? Bro? I'm, I'm nervous. Bro. Pre prediction, I think it's gonna be like a like a bowl. I think that's like a four or five, and I think that's being generous. It's like, like I said, bro, it's like a like a McDonald's or like a Jack in the Box making mac and cheese, bro. Like, I don't think y'all gonna go and just buy that shit. Bro. You got homemade mac and cheese. You got the the, the mama auntie, the cooking elbow with the, with the little shit right here. You got mac and cheese that like that that you can fucking eat. You gonna go get some from <laughs> we gonna see how it's gonna taste, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. <laughs> y'all, oh my god, bro. I'm nervous, y'all. Ah! Bro, my stomach gonna hurt, bro. I was talking a lot of shit, man. I was talking so much shit, bro. Oh. Let me see what it look like. I see what it looks like. Y'all. It came in this, but that shit hot. Y'all see what it came in, bro? Bro, it smelled like, bro, no, bro. It smelled like, it, sm even smell like it smelled like, it smelled like the mac and cheese you buy from the store, bro. It come in a little shit, bro. And you just, it is hot, though. It's hot, but like, no, bro. Why would it smell like that? Y'all, okay, so y'all know as a kid, I don't know, I don't know how old all my viewers is, but y'all know as a kid, every, everybody ate these shits, but. The little, the little, the little mac and cheese, little bowls and whatnot that you could uh, buy to um, come in like a little like bowl like this and eat that shit. That's what it smelled like, bro. Like 
you know when you just cook it up and you and you ain't even put the cheese or none of that in that's what it smells like bro oh my god bro i'm so scared bro i didn't even open it bro oh. I wasn't even thinking, bruh. I just wanted to get the fuck out of that store or get away from that motherfucking place, but I didn't even grab a badge, so I stopped at the gas station real quick. Stopped at the gas station to grab a bed. Um, grab H2O. Regular water, bruh. Regular water, bruh. Fuck it, I'm gonna grab what I need. Fuck it. But I'm gonna grab this real quick, yeah. See you in a second. <laughs> fucking dry. Uh, I asked y'all to send me some questions on um, Instagram, so I'm about to answer a couple of them while I try this. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> I just opened it, bro. I don't think I want to try this yet. That shit looks disgusting. Bro, look at this shit, bro. Bro, whoever I told, bro, I was going to do this, bro. I think I might. I don't think I'm going to do it, bro. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Bro, look at this shit. What is the... <laughs> what? Like I was saying though, y'all, bro. Whoever fucking requested me, I remember who you is too. Now that I think, I remember exactly who requested this shit. You do not like me, bro. You want to see me struggle? That's what you want to see, huh? You want to see me in in the ER, uh, stomach on. That's what you want to see, huh? I can tell. I can tell. You must have tried it before. Mhm. Mm you must. Have. All right. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm All right. First question, yeah. First question. Um. What inspired you to start making content? I don't know, actually. I would say, so, I kind of just, I'm not that big of a recording type of person, as y'all can tell from my earlier videos and things of that nature. But I do enjoy capturing cool moments. Um, cool moments, cool and entertaining things. Um, and so I, I did it, like, for a little bit on TikTok. And my TikTok, um, it's still growing. It, it hasn't blown up yet, but my views, views and likes wise, my views and all that were going up. So I'm like, hey, this shit might be high, baby. Let's see what it do like on YouTube. So I end up doing that and I enjoy it. It's it's fun. Like now that I've gotten into it, I really do enjoy it. Um, I get to see where I've been in different parts of my life and like I said, I get to show y'all some cool and funny shit along the way. Y'all get to see my personality, et cetera, et cetera. So I think, yeah, like I said, just a mixture of me just liking to record cool shit and being around cool shit. Like I just got this new car. For me, I'm around car shows, car meets, et cetera, et cetera. That's, don't cap. Y'all want to see this shit. Y'all want to see all the cool shit. So you feel me? Um, I think that's where I started with that. It's like it like moving around and shit. <laughs> All right, so next. <laughs> All right, yo, I'm fucking contemplating like shit, bro. I think I'm about to answer all these questions right. <laughs> next question was: Do you plan on trading your car in, or will you be keeping it for now? At first, I planned on trading it in, um, because I want a Camaro SS. And I don't know if I told y'all before, but this car was, I mean, I've always wanted a Charger. I never really cared about what model, what engine it had in it. I just always wanted a Charger because they're beautiful cars. So I ended up getting this one. In the meantime, it just built credit, etc. cetera. Um, so to answer your question though, over time, I have thought about actually keeping it and doing like a bunch of different engine upgrades swaps etc etc but unfortunately i live in california and it shit sucks when it comes to things you can and can't do to your car like so i'm very very limited on what i can do so 
with that being said, it's like over time I kind of leaned more away from that. I leaned towards it and then leaned away from it because like I said, it would be cool to keep it, swap it, and have this be like a project car, fast as fuck, and then have my Camaro. But I think I'm going to end up, because these cars depreciate in value, I'm probably going to end up just keeping uh, keeping it for a while, yes. Um, but then end up selling it or trading it along uh, down along the lines. I would want to keep it, but... Like I said, I live in California, and it's like I, I can't I can't upgrade it and do everything that I want to do it do to it without getting state rafted, and now I can't fucking drive my car. So, like I said, it it would it would be cool to keep it and swap it and do all the cool shit to it, but I live in the wrong state for that. So yeah. Oh fuck! All right, y'all. I'm gonna fucking take a first bite. Let me stop, bro. <laughs> Bro, this shit literally tastes like exactly what I said. Like the mac and cheese you fucking buy from the store, and it shouldn't come in that little cup. Is that what it should taste like? But like asser. I feel like that shit probably better than this. Ew. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna be able to eat this whole shit, bro. Look, like, look, bro. I'm gonna be able to eat it. Um, that shit was ass. I might take a couple more bites for y'all. Just to, for y'all fucking entertainment. <laughs> but this shit is ass, bro. Alright. Next question. Dinner with Rod Wave or Kai Sinai? Um, damn, that's a good question. I feel like... I feel like... I, okay, so I fuck with Rod Wave and his music. But... I feel like Dinner with Kai Sinai would be fucking hilarious. So I think I might have to say guys in that. That nigga is that nigga's dumbass funny. Alright bro, I'ma I'm gonna take a full scoop for y'all, man. Ready? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. this idea bro <sighs> bro I'm sorry but you need your fucking ass whooped bro like you need to get your ass whooped by prime iron mike tyson bro A couple bites for y'all. I don't want to finish this, bro. I wish I could, like, on command make a tear come out of my eye right now. <laughs> this shit is so ass, bro. This is a disrespect to mac and cheese, bro. Like, I give it a 2 out of 10. A 10 is like mama cooking elbows mac and cheese. I'm gonna give this like a fucking 2. Do not give this shit, bro. Next question. Um, let me open this motherfucker. Break her up, man. How many cars have you had? Um, I only had two cars. Um, I had a 2011 Camry SC. Um, I had that for about three-ish year, two and a half, three years. Um, and then I just sold that earlier this year. And then I now have a 2022. Um. Dodge Charger GT 
But more cars to come. Like, I'm trying to have a crazy ass car collection. Like, think of GTA. Y'all think, think y'all dream GTA, um, GTA Garage? That's how I want my shit real life. So, like I said, I want a lot more cars. Um, but I've only had two so far. Next question. What got you to want to do YouTube? I guess this is kind of like or along the lines of the other question, like the making content question, but YouTube specifically, I kind of already knew about YouTube because I did YouTube as like a kid. Like I would do gaming content, etc. Like my first YouTube channel, which is honestly the YouTube channel that I post videos on right now. This, this YouTube channel used to be a channel where my like 10, between the ages of 10 to 12 year old ass would come and post my uh, like gaming videos and all that type of shit like so like I said I was already around YouTube and around all that type of shit like I used to make my own thumbnails my own logos banners etc etc so like I used to I was in the scene but you know like growing as a kid especially like 10 years ago is fucking hard um especially on YouTube so like growing on YouTube is already hard as it is. So let alone me being a fucking little kid that all I did was game. Like I didn't have a face cam. Um, I didn't really have all that type of things of that nature when it when it comes to that. Cause like I couldn't buy the shit for myself. Um, so yeah, I start I started YouTube like probably like ten years ago, bro. Last question is, how are you enjoying your car? I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I got it at thirty-seven or thirty-eight thousand miles. I drive it a lot, mainly because I have to commute to work. I'm about forty-minute drive, thirty to forty-minute drive to work every day. Um, and then when I first got it, went to Big Bear. I was just moving around, doing all type of shit. Um, so I enjoy it obviously for how much i drive it because i am now at 52 52 000 miles um but to answer your question fully um i enjoy the car i love this car um people hate on me i mean and honestly be the motherfuckers on the internet and people who don't have a car because everybody who sees my car in person honestly gives me nothing but compliments um so um yeah i kind of just ignore the internet at this point like I let y'all talk because, I mean, yeah, the internet gonna talk regardless, but as far as, like, me actually giving a fuck, bro, no, I'm gonna do what I want regardless, and I'm about to get in a car that's gonna be faster than them walking anyway. I mean, I'm faster than them walking now, but, you know, so, like I said, I got a lot of hate for it, for me getting, like, a V6 instead of a V8, because, like, oh, why would you get a muscle car and I get a V8? Fuck it, eat a dick. Nigga, they make the car for a reason, but, um, yeah, uh. I love this car though. Um, I love how it looks. I love how I love how it drives. Like I said, I'm coming from, as y'all heard from the other question, I had I had a 2011 Camry SE, bro. Like the tech inside the car was outdated. Like you feel me? I actually have a touch screen that I can tap. I can play music. I can play music out this bitch without having a motherfucking. Bro, my old car. I don't know. Y'all might be able to go look. Look back at one of my old videos, but I think I recorded it. How I have to literally talk to my, how I had to talk to that car to connect the Bluetooth device. It was bad, bro. Like the tech and that shit was not it. So from the looks, from the looks to the tech on the inside to the speed, etc. Um, it's a it's it's a good car. It's a fun car. I love it. Gas mileage is better than any V8. Cause yeah, as we all know, V8 gas mileage is booty but i mean i guess you don't buy those cars for the gas mileage um so i mean i guess that part really doesn't matter but <laughs> long story short i i love the car bro it's it's sad it's it's gonna be a sad day when i have to get rid of it or when i get rid of it because it was a sad day when i even got rid of my camry because like i said that car started it off for real like went from no car drive my mom's car to that car and it was a nice ass car red guts um black rims i tinted it out it had a sunroof like the shit was hot i ain't finna cap it was just outdated um but it's the perfect good looking commuter car um and as far as this one like i said 
it's not the fastest car i'm not claiming it to be the fastest car but if you want to get from point a to point b you can get there fast trust me like i've driven this car and it easily can hit 130. um obviously there's cars that can go 200 miles per hour it's not that i'm not saying that but versus coming from my camry zero to 130 and this car zero to 130 oh yeah it can easily go it can easily get up there so like i said i know i've been kind of spamming on the same topic but yes i i fucking love this car bro <laughs> i love it but i don't know how many more fights i can eat of this nasty shit bro like i think i'm gonna do like one more i think i'm gonna do a big ass bite for y'all bro oh that shit was gross look look look, look. i gotta shit move bro I'll do the lab by every elbow. And I'm probably close the video out. I'm about to be sick. Alright. <laughs> now, fucking job. Now, this shit. It's, it's honestly, like, not like that bad to where you gonna, like you gotta throw up, but it is ass. Like, I, ain't finna, I'm, I might be over there. But this shit is ass. I ain't finna get it. Yo, that shit was nasty, bro. Hold on, bro. It might actually be that bad. Holy shit. <laughs> it might actually be that bad. I'm <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Niggas, that shit came, like, up a little bit. Fuck no. I'm not finishing it. I'm not finishing this shit, y'all. Yup. Yeah. It's just cooked. I tried it though. Like I said, to the nigga who told me to try this, bro, you, bro, you must hate me, bro. I ain't for the gap to you, bro. You, bro, you hate my guts, bro, because ain't no way. With that being said, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Hope y'all enjoyed me go through that nastiness. Um, I hope I answered all of y'all questions. Maybe next time, like I said, um, I can get a little bit more questions for y'all. Um, for my subs that don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram will be dropped right there. But it's also in a link down below in the description. So make sure y'all follow me um, and show love on a, on a gram. And yeah, man, close the video out here. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all turn on that post notification bell. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. That shit is nasty, bro.